This is Rich from Eat Sleep 360 and today we're going to look at the two tripods that Insta360 offer. So we've got the original Insta360 bullet time handle and then we've got the new all-purpose tripod that has only recently just been released. If you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about creating 360 photos and 360 videos then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I've already looked at the Insta360 bullet time handle in a previous tripod review video that I did but we need to revisit that tripod if we're going to compare and see what improvements have been made with the new all-purpose Insta360 tripod. A lot of people buy the bullet time handle because not only does it do bullet time but it also doubles up as a 360 tripod. Now it does bullet time really well, the mechanism is really smooth and the top of the tripod at least is really robust and really solid. I know that there are some cheaper alternative bullet time handles out there that are just handles and not tripods but I haven't tried them myself so I can't tell you how good they are. If you have tried them, then I'll be interested to know what you think in the comments. As soon as we open the bullet time handle up and use it as a tripod, the build quality is really cheap. I just don't understand what they were thinking when they built this tripod other than reducing the weight because it goes from, from this top bit, which is really solid, and then you go down to the legs, which really are not solid at all. These legs are plastic, they're flimsy, they've got a lot of flex in them, and I think that they would break under any pressure or if it was dropped. Even the hinges are plastic, and it's like the legs were just an afterthought. As a tripod, it does stand quite tall, so that does reduce the footprint of the tripod, which means you see less of it in your photos and videos. So this is a good thing, but the disadvantage in that is that because it does stand tall, it makes it more unstable. I bought the bullet time handle myself purely as a bullet time handle. In fact, I've never used it as a tripod other than for doing these review videos. So Insta360's newest tripod, they've called the all-purpose tripod. So the first thing you notice about this tripod is that it's slightly shorter than the bullet bullet time handle. Well that's because they've taken the bullet time section off of the top of the tripod. So the all-purpose tripod, which has many uses, can't do bullet time. So it's only a tripod. But to be fair, because it is a thicker tripod, it would be no good for bullet time anyway because you'd see it too clearly in your hands. So what problems does this tripod address compared to the bullet time handle? Well, the all-purpose tripod is a complete redesign. It's nothing like the bullet time handle, and they've listened to customer feedback. The legs are much thicker, and they're made of metal, so the whole thing just feels a lot more robust. But on closer inspection, I'd say that this tripod is not built very well. If you compare it to the Bushman tripod, which I know is more expensive, but even comparing it to my Ziadio tripod, which is something like six pounds, you haven't got the precise engineering. I have one leg on the tripod that is solid, and then I've got two legs that have got a little bit of movement in them, and they, they just feel loose. It may be that I've just been unlucky with this tripod and it was a manufacturing fault, but it is first impressions. I will contact Insta360 and I'll keep you updated in the comments. Ignoring that for now, let's look at the other features of the tripod. The legs in their standard position are longer than the bullet time handle and they sit a lot lower, so it's got a much lower profile, which, and this means that the legs spread a lot further across the floor, giving it more stability. And if that wasn't enough, these legs extend even further just by sliding the ends out. They extend more than 50% longer. So they go from 152 mil to 232 mil fully extended. On solid ground, with the tripod legs in, in its standard position, it does feel quite solid, but you wouldn't trust it 100% in windy conditions just because it is a lightweight tripod and there is a chance that it could move. Once the legs are fully extended, however, then this takes the stability up several levels and it would take a lot of wind or a big knock to make this tripod fall over. The legs don't lock as such, but they have two locking positions. What I mean by that is they have a small ball bearing that locates into a small hole at the shortest and the longest position. But the clever thing with the tripod is that the legs operate using friction. So as you pull the leg out, there's a lot of friction there, so you could actually leave the leg halfway out, which would compensate for uneven ground. Now I do say this loosely because really they only lock properly in two positions, the shortest position and the longest position. And as with any monopod, tripod combination, the taller you go, and the more uneven the ground, the more vulnerable they are to falling over. So it's just a case of not taking risk and using your common sense. I really like how lightweight this tripod is and the extendable legs are a really clever design, but I think they've cut corners with the build quality. The materials they've used on this tripod are solid, but to receive a product that has loose components, it just doesn't reassure you that this tripod's gonna last. 
and there's a good chance that over time you'll just lose a leg. As I said before, I may have been unlucky and not all of the tripods may be like this, but for me, I'm out. It's a no. I've now got nine mini tripods and I need to quit. But please tell me in the comments section about any suggestions you've got for your mini tripods and what you think about this new all-purpose tripod. If you found this review useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials, reviews and 360 hints and tips, then please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.